Today I am talking about lifecycle hooks. There are special functionality in Angular that allows us to hook into and run code at a specific lifecycle event of a component or directive. You can look at them as phases of component life, like every living being has. They get born, they change, they grow, and eventually they die. With lifecycle hooks, we can gain better control of our application. When do we want to use them? For example, if you want to fetch some data and display it in your component, you will do that inside of ng-on-init lifecycle when its component gets initialized. Or if you need to clean up your component, remove some subscriptions you might have to prevent memory leaks, you will do that inside of ng-on-destroy lifecycle hook just before component gets destroyed. This is the list of all hooks in exact order how they get initialized, but most used ones are on-init, on changes and on destroy. Let's implement the ng on init hook as you will be using this hook the most. First, import on init interface from Angular Core. Next, we want to implement this interface inside of our class. To implement any hook, you just need to add an ng to the interface name and you will get the method needed for implementation. So, in this case, it's ng on init. We will create a simple function for logging some values to the console. Now, I will create a property that will save that function so that we can clean it up at the end. In the ng-on-init method, let's create a simple setInterval method which will make a console log on every second. If you leave our component like this, when the component gets destroyed, our interval method will continue to log to console. To fix this side effect, we need to use the ng on destroy hook. Import on destroy interface and place it next to on init. Now, create the ng on destroy method, and in this method, you need to clean up this interval. Simply use clear interval method with our property passed as an argument. And now our component has been cleaned up. Using lifecycle hooks, we can fine-tune the behavior of our components during creation, update, and destruction. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you to understand this concept. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a new upload.